I was born in a small town named Dadaab in Kenya, 1998, July 15th. Uh, my parents immigrated from Somalia, 1992, when the Civil War started. My mom and my dad, they talk about the Civil War sometimes uh, with my brothers and sisters, and I'm the oldest in my family. So uh, it's always interesting uh, when my parents talk about the Civil War to listen to them. My father was a school teacher, and he put me into a private English class learning. Even thought I was going to school, but after school, I would go to that. And I didn't know what America was, to be honest. I was like, oh, America, where it was rare to see white people. So I was like, oh, where white people come from? You know, like, that's the only thing I knew about America. Me, me and my dad would listen to the radio sometimes. So it's like, kind of like, uh, we will uh, hear about America's uh, going to war against Iran or other Middle Eastern countries. So I was like, I, I kind of knew something about America, like it, it was a country, but I didn't know it, it was going to be like this big. When we came to the airport, New York, New York airport, um, we were a big family and there was th uh, three ladies uh, counting us. And my mom thought they were counting us because they're trying to take one of us. We were so many and yeah, my mom started crying and we all cried. And my dad got taken away because my mom's supposed to be head of the family, but he did some mistakes, I don't know. So he went through, he went in front of my mom and that wasn't allowed. So it took, they took my dad away to a, I don't know, he was describing a uh, place. There was a lot of cops who would keep calling his name. They thought it was, he was a terrorist, I don't know. Something. But finally, he, my dad came back and then there was a, uh, those people that uh, came to us and they took us to uh, Connecticut, Hartford City. Um, that was the place that we were s supposed to be going. And there wasn't a lot of Somalis, so it was mostly African American and Mexicans. That was that word, the minority. Okay. And the reason that we moved to Minnesota was because my mom one day was taking the transportation bus, and it was summer, and she was wearing hijab, and uh, one African American man. He pulled my mom hijab and he started yelling at her, take it off, take it off. It's Connecticut, America, why are you wearing this? And later that day when my mom came home, she started crying and uh, my grandma called uh, her aunt. She lives in Minneapolis and um, my aunt uh, told my grandma that she was going to come to us and move us to Minneapolis. And that was how we came to Minneapolis. Uh, and my life changed a lot because, well, it's not like Connecticut. Connecticut, I wasn't allowed to go out because there were some Somali families. There was like, I wasn't usually the type of guy that go outside and play with his friends. I was kind of like the guy that his parents keep inside because they don't want him to forget his culture and, and his heritage. And, but Fairbo is different because I have so many Somali friends and we play sports and my mom, it's okay for me now to go outside and play with my friends. I want to become an electronic engineer and I'm going to the University of Iowa this fall, 2016, when I graduated. And I want to help the Fairbrook community just as much as they help me and my family. I want to contribute as much as I can, as much as possible that I can do whether we play soccer with each other or try to talk with each other or be friends or uh, get to know each other better uh, culture wise. We feel like we are great uh, people, part of the community and we do as much as we can to be part of the community.